There are some exciting operations happening at Starbase Texas right now. And they move the booster to the launch mount. They move the ship on top of the booster after doing checks on the booster to make sure that everything was right. And all the plumbing inside the booster and electronics were right. Uh, and then they ship, move the ship on top of the booster, which is called a fit check. So they put the ship on top. They make sure that everything fits properly. And then they check all the piping and plumbing and all the electronics inside of the ship. Also, which connects to the booster now, make sure everything works. And then they detached the ship recently. Now, after that, what happened? Uh, they restacked the ship on top of the booster, did some more testing, did some more checks. And just recently, just today, uh, about an hour ago, they destacked the ship and the booster. What could that mean for SpaceX? Uh, there's some speculation going around right now, but there are some things that we, we kind of know probably not going to happen uh the ship has already been static fired a bunch of times they've static fired all six engines and they've also done a single engine fire they've also done the booster static fires they've done cryogenic tests on both and the next thing the next big step would be a uh subsequent kind of uh half of a wet dress rehearsal to load it up with cryogenic fuel make sure everything uh or cryogenic fluid make sure everything works properly and then from there you do a full wet dress rehearsal and then you're pretty much ready for flight after the flight termination system is added to the ship and the booster or is activated so as of right now uh ship is destacked from the booster and now what's going to happen we don't really know because we don't know what spacex knows uh we don't know if any electronics or or um plumbing or piping is wrong inside the booster or inside of the ship. So we just have to speculate at this point. It's kind of par for the course though. Something like this, uh, they stack and they destack. And the great thing about Mechazilla is that the destacking only takes a few minutes. So uh, it's about, you know, it might take maybe an hour at the most because they have to get the ground operations crew there and they have to move the ship actually off of the booster and then take it to the side, lower it down, do it gently, but firmly, of course, uh, just to make sure everything goes as planned. And what happens next, we're not 100% sure, probably doing more checks on the booster in the ship. Uh, there's been no, um, there's been no FAA approval of the next flight yet. Now let's take a look at this though. So right here is where we would look for that. We would look for flight approval on the FAA website, SpaceX Super Heavy uh, 23129 Rev1, and then it opens up a PDF and it shows the last revision, um, November 15th, 2023, down here, right here. So it shows that SpaceX is authorized to fly from Boca Chica, Starbase, Texas, and they have a bunch of, you know, it's, it's it's a government paper, basically. So basically saying, here's all the additional measures you had to do for flight two, et cetera, et cetera. So they don't have one for flight three yet. So SpaceX isn't ready for flight three, according to the FAA. But they are ready to do something on the 20th. So let's take a look at the Boca Chica SpaceX Starbase highway closing for the next few days. Um, the 16th not going to work because that's in the past nothing on the 19th it's a federal holiday but on the 20th there's a possible closure between 8 a.m and 8 p.m but what is that possible closure um we don't know yet there's also a possible closure on the 20th between 12 a.m and 3 a.m so let's take a look at the uh 12 a.m to 3 a.m one Please be advised that on February 20th, 2024, SpaceX will be conducting transportation operations on Highway 4 near Boca Chica sometime between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. Will they be moving the ship back to the high bay? Maybe something happened to the ship. Maybe something happened to the booster. We don't know if they're going to move the booster yet today. Um, so if they do move the booster off the stand, maybe they have to do some other fixes. Possible. We don't know yet. Um, could they be moving another ship for testing? That's a possibility too. Could they move, be moving another booster? possibility could they just be moving a big piece of hardware yes that's a possibility too so spacex at starbase as we know everything changes everything is subject to change as they say um down at starbase so as we see it right now uh they could be moving anything but let's go back to this the 20th 8 a.m to 8 p.m 
possible closure. If they destack this and they do all the checks they need to do and fix if something, if they need to fix it, could they do a restack in this February 20th uh, back update for a possible closure? Could this be a wet dress rehearsal, full wet dress rehearsal? Could SpaceX be planning to get the rocket flight ready for the FAA in the near future? So as of right now, we don't see any FTRs for SpaceX down at Starbase. Everything we see, space operations for Cape Canaveral, Florida, Cape Canaveral, Florida, Van Horn, Texas, Van Horn, Texas, Van Horn, Texas. These are security, so they don't, they don't really count. VIPs, hazards, security, air shows, security, nothing in the realm of anything for SpaceX until you get all the way down to December 29th of last year. And that was for security. So there's nothing going on at Starbase as far as a flight goes. So don't get, you know, don't get worked up about a flight because it's not happening uh, in the next few days. But they could be doing a series of tests on the 20th to make sure that everything is ready for the flight of uh, Starbase in the near future. So that being said, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen? Um, it's up in the air right now. Uh, they do some subsequent testing throughout the time that SpaceX stacks the ship on top of the booster and we're not exactly sure what they're going to do uh, because we don't have the inside scoop uh, we don't have the the inside uh, knowledge of what's going on at spacex inside the walls of spacex what are they talking about is there a ground issue possibly could there be a ground issue uh, which means could some of the plumbing not be attached to the ship and the booster and they have to detach something uh, it's possible you know that, that's the thing it's it's totally possible everything's connected so if one thing goes bad, a thousand things could go bad. But if a thousand things go right, everything goes right. So we'll see. Right, that's that's basically where we're at right now. But I'm super excited about this upcoming possible launch of Starship because it's going to be a fantastic flight. IFT3 is going to be wild. Uh, they're going to do a propellant transfer within the Starship itself. They're going to be doing a Starlink demonstration of some sort. Uh, we're not exactly sure what, but it could be possibly the mechanism within uh, the Starship uh, just to make sure that it loads properly or uh, show like they, they show it kind of moving down and then shooting out every once. So they move down one and then that'll shoot out, move down, shoot out. And that could be a possibility too. Could they be doing that test during this next flight? We'll see if they could get a, a flip back burn with a booster. If they could land that in the Gulf of Mexico, oh, this is going to be so cool. I, I'm going to go wild. We're going to have that here on the channel too. So please subscribe uh, and give this video a thumbs up so you can get more space flight content in your feed. That's what happens with YouTube. If you give a video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel, you're going to get more space flight content in your feed, not just from me or this channel, but from other space flight channels in general. So you might find another channel that's really cool that you really like. Couldn't be, you know, might not be this channel. It could be any channel out there that you don't know about. It happens to me all the time. Um, I find new space flight channels all the time and find new news sources and cool people that I can interact with because of it. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And also if you're really into space flight, please consider becoming a member. That's how I continue to do this. So please take a second and do that. Become a member. It's a couple dollars per month. It's like one coffee per month and it helps me out tremendously. So I'm actually moved down to Savannah, Georgia because I wanted to be closer to NASA so I could go cover NASA flights. Those memberships really help me get to NASA every single month. So thank you so much for all the members we have so far. So many. There's a whole members list on the channel and I'm going to list them after I get done with this video to thank them so much for all of their continued support. Love you guys. Thank you so much. What do you think is going to happen? Give me a comment down below. All right. Take care, everybody. And I will see you in the next one. And also uh, become part of the flight crew. That's what you, if you hit the subscribe button, become part of the flight crew. Also, we have a discord. So check that out down below. How do I do that in here? Down below. There we go. Okay. Bye, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in the next one.